my dear friends in jesus christ today i am going to speak to you about the rosary a hidden treasure and a pearl of great price in the beautiful parable narrated by jesus in matthew chapter 13 verses 44 and 45 the difference between the farmer who found the hidden treasure and the merchant who bought the priceless pearl is that the farmer found it by chance while working in the field whereas the merchant searched for it till he found it but in one thing they are equal namely they both sold everything they had in order to acquire the hidden treasure and the precious pearl some people find the hidden treasure that the rosary is by chance they just happen to discover it others search for a safe way of union with god through prayer and when they finally find the rosary they know that they have acquired a priceless pearl october is the month of special rosary devotion the spiritual presence of mother mary is felt lovingly in all families that's what jesus surely wanted his mother's spiritual presence is be felt lovingly in all families that's why jesus worked his first miracle in a family in the loving insistence and caring in the session of mother mary on the cross before his death he entrusted her with john who took her to his own house thus giving her to the whole of mankind as an interceding mother in fact jesus is asking the mother to continue what she did at cana which prayer is called the language of love rosary is a language of love the love has only one expression i love you we all know that rosary is a prayer that is very dear to our mother's mary's heart many think that the rosary is a monotonous prayer some find boring but we repeat the prayer like hail mary many times the late folden sheen of new york once said to the couple who had stopped saying the rosary who when asked why they had stopped saying the rosary replied it's a monotonous prayer it is boring then he asked them when did they say to each other i love you just this morning and before that yesterday and every day of our life did you find it boring he asked not at all said the couple so they understood what he meant and from that day started praying the rosary daily the mysteries of rosary depicts the significant happenings in the salvation history and it spans the period from the birth of jesus till his ascension and till 16th october 2002 we had mysteries of joy sorrow and glory it was saint paul john ii added the fifth mystery title mysteries of light and thus we have the current form of rosary with 20 mysteries the word rosary means crown of roses a lady has shown her approval of the same of the rosary and revealed to several people and each time they say the hail mary they are giving her beautiful rose and each complete rosary one places a crown of roses rosary is considered as a perfect prayer because with its lace the awesome story of our salvation when we pray the hail marys we invite mary to pray for us what mary asks she always receives jesus can never say no to her whatever his mother asks for as jesus came through mary so we go to jesus through mary 
because in bernard says to meet the savior we must follow the same road by which he came to us the rosary in the present form was given to the church by saint dominic the founder of the dominican order who received it from the blessed virgin mary in the year 1214 down through the centuries the rosary has been a prayer dear to the saints pope pius 9 once said i could conquer the whole world if i had an army to say the rosary pope leo 13 often called the pope of the rosary dedicated 12 encyclical on rosary during his pontificate he asserted that it is a strong spiritual weapon against evil down the ages rosary has been a prayer dear to the saints the devotion to the rosary was promoted by great saints like louis mountfort alphonsus ligori padre pio viani mother teresa peter canisius and others there has been numerous occasion in history when people have recourse to this powerful prayer especially in difficult times saint pius v in thanksgiving victory over turks in the battle of lepanto due to the intercession of mary established the feast of rosary on 7th october he also bestowed the title help of christians upon the blessed mother in the year 1452 ad the council of ephesus declared mary as the mother of god the second vatican council re-emphasized mary's special role on the redemptive plan of god on the closing day of the council on december 8 1965 mary was proclaimed as the mother of the church by this name she became the mother of disciples the rosary is a great weapon that helps to fight evil around us the feast of our lady of rosary on 7th october reminds us of a story about mother teresa she was once in an airport and was going through security in an area that had many threats The guards asked everyone if they had any weapons before the search. When the guard asked Mother Teresa this question, she pulled out her rosary and said, "Only this one." Let us resort to this powerful weapon of intercession and promote devotion to the Holy Rosary. I would like to conclude with the words of Pope Pius X. Of all prayers rosary is the most beautiful and the richest in graces of all it is the one most pleasing to mary the virgin most holy the family that prays together lives together be with us mary our mother through the grief and toils of this life that we may never fall back but grow deeper in love and trust in god at all times mother mary pray for us